what's up guys welcome to the big dog channel today we will be talking about tachyasu arteritis now this is another large vessel vasculitis that you should look out for so this vasculitis condition usually affects women as well especially asian women no more than the age of 40 years it's usually made this diagnosis is usually made during a clinical process based on presentation and imaging running some tests to see what's going on so classic symptoms to include to look out for is aortic claudication now aortic claudication it's the presence of a gnawing pain with or without exertion so you'll have a so patients might experience pain a cramping pain that's located centrally within the chest or within the abdomen a cramping pain that cannot be alleviated by any form of movement lifestyle changes or medication Another issue that can a patient can present with is um, varying in blood pressures of the upper extremities. So you will, if you took your blood pressure for the left arm or the right arm, you will realize that the blood pressures are significantly different. There can also be the absence of a palpable pulse. So when your doctor does your physical examination to check your pulse, usually in the radial area, there may be no pulse. Um, or might not be any pulse felt in your carotid area or temporal or the brachial arteries pulse. So, <clears throat> tests that will be run, of course, the doctor is going to do a blood test. So, we're going to do an ESR test. So, we're going to do a CRP test. So these are all inflammatory, inflammatory tests that will detect the presence of inflammation in the body. It's non specific, so it's not going to show or determine where exactly the inflammation is but it will just detect the presence of an inflammatory process. And the tests are usually going to be, the values are going to be significantly elevated. Now for the imaging process, your doctor is going to recommend that you do a MRA, which is a magnetic resonance angiography. So, or you might write you up for a CT and to angiography. So what these tests are doing is they are assessing the integrity of these blood vessels for the area of suspect to see if there is any, if there is poor blood flow or if the blood vessel seems enlarged or dilated or whatever the case may be. If there is some narrowing of the blood vessels as well. Clearly with these vasculitis or inflammatory process, steroids is always to use. What's the benefits of steroids? So you want to use oral high dose steroids. Steroids, the aim of steroids is to suppress the immune system and reduce the inflammatory process so that it can relieve these symptoms that the patient or you are experiencing. So if you're ever experiencing any of these symptoms, follow up with your physician.